Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing two popular all-in-one marketing platforms, which is Builderall versus Go High Level. Now, I've been using both of these platforms for quite some time now, and I have also shot video reviews of both of these, so if you wanna check those out, I've left them in the link in the description. But what I wanna do for this particular video is if you are someone trying to decide which is the best platform for you, hopefully by the end of this video, you will know. I will share my personal thoughts and I'll also show you side by side these two platforms so you know which one is right for you. Now if you do decide to get started I've also left some special links in the description for both of these platforms. I've got some additional bonuses so if you want to grab those make sure you use the links in the description. Okay so what I'm going to do first of all is start off with the features as well as the pricing and then I'll jump behind the platforms and show you the builders side by side. Okay so first of all let's start here at the build Builder Rule homepage as well as the Go High Level homepage. What I want to do first of all is run through some of the different listed features inside of their website. There is a lot on both of their platforms. So I just want to really break down what the differences are between them because there isn't really that many. It's just how they've worded them, which actually changes how they actually appear. So if you scroll down here, you will see that Builder Rule has over 50 different tools, but they have over a thousand different features. So realistically, 50 tools is what they have, a thousand features is, I don't know, it's pretty questionable how they've determined the thousand features, but what you can expect is 50 different tools. So without having to go through one by one exactly what everything is, just know you can build websites, you can build funnels, you can sell your own products, you can host your own email marketing automation, you can even host your own emails. You've got things like bot messenger automation with WhatsApp, you've got SMS marketing, you've got website chat bots, you've also got webinar tools and you have video hosting, things like that. It's all pretty straightforward. They've split everything out as much as possible, but you, it does everything that you'd expect with it. And if you come to Go High Level and come down to their features, you'll probably notice that majority of them are actually the same. You've got CRM, you've got sales funnels, websites, surveys and forms, email marketing, SMS messaging, appointments, automations, courses. They've also got call tracking, reputation management, which I don't believe Builderall has, tracking analytics, and you can also white label which you can't do on Builder as well. So the main differences here are you can use different types of messenger chatbots. You've got here WhatsApp, you've got Messenger, you've got Instagram, things like that are all included inside of Builder Rule. You also have click maps, which I believe is quite a new feature. And apart from that, there's not really too much else you have. You've got a webinar tool, which you don't inside of Builder Rule. So there are a few things that are different, but realistically, they're about the same. So chatbots and automation inside of Builderall, but you also have white labeling, gray labeling inside of Go High Level, plus you also have call tracking. So not really much difference in terms of features. Now, if we go to the pricing, things start changing quite a bit down here. So inside of Builderall, we've got here what's called the Cheetah Plan. This allows you to have websites and funnels and email marketing. You can have this for $16.90 per month. If you want anything like the chatbots that were mentioned earlier, you're going to have to pay $87.90 on the premium. The only difference between Cheetah and Marketer is the limitations that you have. So you can have more domains, more subdomains, more subscribers, things like that. So that's what you need to think about. And also if you want, you've got what's called the Funnel Club, which is going to give you hundreds of new funnels and templates. You gotta pay $200 up front for that and then just $87.90 per month. Now in Go High Level, there is a couple of listed plans here. We've got the Agency Starter Account. What this basically means is you get to have unlimited everything inside of your account. So if we come back up to the features, that means unlimited funnels, builders, websites, forms, all of that sort of good stuff for just $97 per month. One thing to know though is you do need to integrate Twilio, which is an SMS service if you wanna use SMS messaging and also Mailgun which is an email marketing platform it's one of the biggest in the world so your deliverability is quite a bit higher than what you can expect with Builderall so $97 per month you may have to pay for Mailgun or Twilio depending on how much you use them there's a lot of free plans um, with low limits if you want those as well and then we've got what's called the agency unlimited account 
So what this basically means is the agency starter allows you to have one client account. That one client account is usually going to be your personal account. So if you just want to use it for yourself, just use the starter. But what you can do inside of the agency unlimited is host unlimited client accounts. So this is perfect if you run a digital marketing agency. You can go ahead and create assets and websites and everything kept separately for clients inside of the agency unlimited. And there is also an option to create your own as uh, custom zap for Zapier and also white labeled mobile app that all depends if you want it that's going to be an additional 497 per month so quite a bit expensive but if you've got a large agency it's actually really cheap you'd be looking at potentially $800 between these two and you'd also be getting unlimited usage so it's really good you could have 50 clients 100 clients and it'll be definitely worth your time now there is also one other pricing plan not listed inside of here and that is the SaaS Pro plan Basically Basically what that means is you can white label the entire Go High Level platform and you can actually resell it to new users entirely under your white labeled brand. Now the good thing about this is that you can have unlimited clients inside of it, right? You can have unlimited customers and users. And the charge for this is 497 per month, which is quite a bit, but if you charged it at say $100 per person, it would just take five people and then the rest would be profit. This is a feature that is definitely not available in Builderall. So if you're looking at creating your own SaaS company, but you don't know anything about tech, then I highly recommend checking out the SaaS Pro plan. I've got a special link to a 30 day trial for Go High Level in the description as well if you wanna check it out. So what I'm gonna do right now is jump behind the screen and show you the dashboards of both of these platforms. Okay, so here we are in the Builder All dashboard. As you can see, it's quite nice and clean. If you wanna see where all your tools are, you just simply click on the down arrow and here are all the tools. This account, just to let you know, is on the Cheetah plan as you need to be an active user to be a part of the affiliate program, something they didn't let users know and they basically took my commissions for about five months without telling me until I actually logged in and checked it out. So that was pretty shady, but at the same time, it's still really good value on the Cheetah plan, $16.90 per month, and you get to have all of the website and funnel builders, emails, as well as click maps and URL shorteners. Now, if you are on a higher plan, all of your different tools and features will be listed down below. I've also linked to a full review of Builderall, which does go through some of those down below, so make sure you go ahead and check it out. But if you wanted to see all your different projects, you can either come to your latest projects, it's going to show you all this different information here. One thing I had to laugh at was when I logged into the site and did a video review, I clicked on access to say this free coach funnel. And what it took me to was an upgrade page. And then it's like, hey, you've already upgraded. Just click on continue. And then it took me around in circles. So I think these guys have probably launched 5.0 really quickly. There's still quite a few bugs inside of it. However, it works quite well. If you want to start a project, just click start a project and you've got all of your different features inside of here. So you can create a website, a funnel inside here, create a store, create a checkout sales page, or create a website with members area there. Now they've also got quite a bit of training available as well. In fact, they're just pushing an affiliate course that they've just created with the top affiliates. It's about $170. So if you want to check that out, that's inside there. They do constantly like to pitch their users different courses. But to be fair, majority of companies need to have different upsells inside of it. So what I recommend you do if you do get started with Builderall, come through the quick start training, go through the university, and then you could probably leave these unless you need to go through that additional training. There's also the affiliate program inside here. And there is also quite a strong Facebook group that has over 50,000 members in it. It's pretty impressive to see. Just to let you know what sort of engagements inside of here, you can see there's three new posts today, 32 in the past month, so it is kind of dry. There's 100 new people in this last week though, so that's pretty good to see a little bit of growth inside of it. I do feel Builderall has probably been around a little bit long and it is starting to slow down in terms of growth, whereas if we look at the high-level Facebook group just really quick, I can come and check out the stats here. These guys have grown only 11 in the past week, which is kind of interesting, but you can see there's 101 new posts today, 2451 in the last month. 
So there is a lot more engagement and there's only 20,000 members inside of the high level group. So depending on what you are interested in, depending how much help you will need, I would probably choose the platform that's got more engagement, which is going to be high level if you want to get some help. Now logging into my high level dashboard, I just want to quickly give you an overview of what everything is. There is a little bit confusing if it's your first time using high level, just to give you an idea, when you first log in, you will have what is called your agency view. This is going to list these different options inside of here. A few may be grayed out depending on what plan you're on. I'm personally on the SaaS Pro plan as I'm trying to start my own SaaS agency using this white labeled software. But inside of the platform, what you can do is choose the different client accounts inside of your platform and then you can go in and log in from there so if i come to this one here this is a client account this is what you can expect to use if you are on any plan this is where you create your websites your funnels your emails everything like that so it's pretty cool now if you want to integrate it with google my business this is where if you're an agency high level sort of sticks out a little bit more than builder all reason being is you can connect all of these different platforms together and then you have what's called a unified inbox so every time someone reaches out to you via either your website or Facebook or Google or even tries to call you all of the conversations will be created and added into this one unified dashboard there's nothing in this one here as I've just created this demo account but every time someone messages no matter the platform it gets put into this area here and you can actually reply instantly using this dashboard as well now there is also a mobile app you can use they've called it lead connector so if you have clients they can also download the app without knowing what platform you're using Using, so it's pretty cool now down here we've also got calendars contacts opportunities we have payments and then we have marketing which is going to be probably where most people go there is a social planner they've just added you've got your different emails triggers things like that we have automation they've got a very comprehensive automation workflow builder I've got my referral bonuses I've created if you want to join using my link this is a course and other bits and pieces and then on websites this is going to be where you build your funnels, websites, membership courses, form surveys, chat widgets if you want to create them for websites and things like that. We've got reputation which is your Google reviews, everything like that and then finally here is the reporting. This shows you some different advertising platforms that you can actually integrate with and then check all your data in one place. Now there is quite a few things about Go High Level that I like and a lot of it is the white labeling and the branding as you can see at the top here. This isn't a Go High Level logo, it's actually my SaaS logo for a company I'm creating called Lead Falcon. And basically what it means is you can white label the domain that, that people log into. You can add in custom links on the sides. If you want to add in more tabs, a lot of people have been adding in different research tools as well as messenger platforms, additional training, onboarding, everything like that on the left. And if you are using it for yourself, another idea is you could put all of your social media channels on the left, for example, Facebook, TikTok. You could add in different types of business assets. Maybe it's LinkedIn automations. You can add everything on the left so instead of having to open a million tabs inside of your google chrome browser you can just log into your high level dashboard and go through all of your different business assets inside of one place it's really cool now just to give you one more quick demo of the agency view so you know what it's all about and on the left here we've got the SaaS configurator what it allows you to do is create three different tiered SaaS plans you can build your own what it means is you can choose price plans you can then choose what features go for what plan we've got three different tiers so you can scale up from there you can also resell the SMS services and the phone services as well as the email services using Twilio and Mailgun like I went through earlier so that's really cool now on the left we've also got accounts so if you want to switch between accounts or load in different snapshots you can do so in here we've also got account snapshots which is basically if you've heard of a share funnel before it's like that but it's not just a funnel you can share websites automation flows emails templates everything that you want that's included in an entire account and you can share it with one simple link it's a really powerful tool especially if you are creating different snapshots what you can do then is just create your own library of snapshots and you can share it with people that you're working with or for it's really cool
So apart from that, I also want to show you the page editor. So I'm just going to quickly load one in Builderall to show you what the visual builder looks like. This is quite a big um, point that people usually go from. If you're building anything online, you want to have a nice desirable page builder. So I'll just quickly choose a page builder on both and then we'll go ahead and compare them. Right, so this is basically where all your pages are going to be listed. If I click on edit page, it's going to load. Right, so this is the experience when you use Builderall. I'll quickly start a new funnel inside of Go High Level. So I'll just go to template library here. Okay, and I'll just choose say agency. And I'll just choose one of these funnels. I'll probably just choose this one here. I think it's, I'll choose this one, it looks pretty good. Okay, potential affiliate. <clears throat> and I'll just go ahead and import this. Right, agree get this template okay so if we look at uh, builder rule here just to give you a quick tour we have the different viewports at the top a little bit slow to load this builder i'm not going to lie one thing that seems to be global with builder rule and you'll probably notice in both of my reviews i've done on this platform one i did in december 2020 and one i did just actually today um, i would have posted it before you saw this video though is it's been slow and it is still slow even the page loading speeds sorry, are a little bit slow as well. It's kind of annoying, but it has progressively got better. So depending on what you are doing will depend on your needs. Now, if you want to add in any elements, just click on add, come to elements here, click on the one you want and they've got some different options and then you can drag it into whichever section and then you can move it around inside of there. So it's pretty straightforward. It's really easy to use. Um, they have made this builder so much better than it used to be. So hats off to them for doing so. So it's, yeah, it's pretty straightforward what you want. You just come down, choose all the different elements, and then integrate everything from there. So that is really all you need to see. Inside of here, you can switch between funnel places as well. Um, on the outside, you can change all the SEO settings. And if you want to modify the sections and parts, just choose the one you want to. And then in settings, you will have all the options. Now, if we go to go high level, I will quickly go to this potential affiliate funnel that I've just created. And you'll probably notice the funnel builder is very similar to click funnels. So they've taken the best from best platforms. You'll notice the same about the membership as well it looks like kajabi like it's almost a splitting image so it's really good to see if i go to the builder itself i'll show you what it looks like you'll also notice that it does look like click funnels as well it's really simple to use we've got at the top here all of your different options right we've got sections rows columns then elements if you click add element you have all the different elements inside of here. Everything you would expect from a funnel builder. You can also switch between the pages in your funnel as well. And you've also got all your SEO metadata on the left. It is a drag and drop as well. Just click on this little moving tool and you can move it around wherever you want it to go. I'd probably like this builder slightly more than the builder all one. The builder all one is getting better. However, it is not fine tuned just yet. But apart from that, this isn't going to be a full feature step-by-step -step comparison. If you want to check those out, I've left those reviews down below. But what I'm going to do right now is just jump behind the screen and talk about my honest opinion about both of these platforms okay so there you have it build rule versus go high level now i know this was a quick video and i know we didn't compare every single feature uh, one to the other however i have shot full reviews for these videos down below and if i did a full feature breakdown this video would be over an hour long now what i want to stress about are the things that you will face if you decide to choose a specific platform with build a rule you are going to have a lot more features however i believe these features aren't quite as professional as they could be they have just announced and released the version 5 which is okay there is a few bugs as you saw earlier trying to open old funnels however it still is incredible value and if you decided to just get your feet wet the $16.90 price point of cheetah is incredible however if you are on the flip side if you are a professional agency or if you're a professional marketer there's a good chance you want reliability as well as functionality and i believe go high level just brings that little bit more to the table than build a rule for just 97 dollars if it's just for your own brand you get unlimited funnels courses emails and everything in between and it is just that little bit easier to use plus you do get the mobile app which is very nice as well so that's it guys that is my build a rule versus go high level comparison
I hope you did enjoy it. Once again, if you want to get started with either of these platforms, I've got some special bonuses and additional things down below, so make sure you check out the description. But that's it from me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I've got some incredible marketing reviews and comparisons coming out in the near future. That's it from me. I'll see you on the next video.